one and action. Welcome back. Um, so today's workout is called superior posterior. All right, we've got four rounds, one minute odd object zerker squat, one minute odd object good morning, one minute thrusters with any object, and one minute rest, okay? So within that minute, we are trying to accomplish a sort of AMRAP style, as many reps as possible of those movements, okay? Does that mean you should be going 110% each minute at each movement? No, not at all, right? What kind of strategy do you want, we want to use here? Well, uh, first round, your body is not completely warmed up to the workout. So we're gonna want to take it easy, 70% effort, okay? Just moving through the motions, staying comfortable, going slower than we think we should. We want our heart rate and our breathing rate to catch up with us, okay? And then that second round, we're gonna have a better appreciation for how we're feeling today, and we, we can uh, adjust our pace from there. Okay, so when we're doing this workout, um, take that first round as warming up, okay? You're just kind of getting situated. You're letting your body um, start warming up for the workout, getting the heart rate up, getting the breathing rate up, okay? Feeling that fatigue, that metabolic fatigue that we're gonna feel for the rest of the workout. Having that comfortable first round is also a great pacing strategy, okay? We can try to aim for the same number of reps each subsequent round and see if it gets easier or harder, okay? You might feel like the first round was really easy, and then you go for the second round and try to get the same number of reps, and at the end of the second round, you're feeling very fatigued, much more fatigued than anticipated, okay? You can adjust from there. So let's go through these movements here. Okay, starting with the Zerker squat. The odd object I have is a sandbag. So a zerker squat is just a fancy name for holding an object on your elbows with your arms crossed over. Okay, this type of squat allows us to have a counterbalance with the weight so we can keep our uh, torso more upright. It's great for upper back strength. Okay, so flex hips, knees, ankles, squat down, stand back up. Whatever object you choose, it could be a gym bag, it could be, uh, I don't know, creativity, slam ball, dumbbell, okay? Next we have the good morning. So we're going to uh, lift the object up, put it on our back, okay? And good morning. Feet under the hips, we're gonna send our hips back. We're gonna keep our legs relatively straight. Squeeze our butt, stand up, okay? As long as you're getting about 45 degrees to the floor with your torso or about 90 degrees at your hip, it's plenty for a good morning. Okay, you don't need much more than that. And you're really trying to flex your back here, keep it nice and neutral. Okay, you wanna feel a deep stretch in the back of the legs. Okay, I like to keep the weight more on the balls of the feet here. Helps to balance out, get more in the back. And then for today, uh, I'm not going to use that for thrusters since I can only bring, uh, breathe in so much sand. I'm going to use a barbell. Okay. Front rack position, whatever object you're using, could be a dumbbell. If you're using a dumbbell, you can alternate arms. Okay. You're going to squat down, drive up, press through. Okay. And that's what we have. We have a squat and a press. So the thruster. Pressing the bar back, going to pass the forehead, squeezing the shoulder blades up and together. All right, so those are the movements. Uh, if you need modifications other than objects, okay, um, you can do regular squats for the Zerker squats if you just don't have any objects or it's too much for you. Um, you can also do jumping squats for thrusters. So just kind of squatting down, jumping up. Is more of a dynamic squat. If all that is too much for you, okay, you can get a box or a chair and uh, sit on the box and stand back up, okay? So, and for thrusters, if you wanted to not do jumping squats, you could do box step ups. 
Okay, there are a lot of options here. So choose the option that best suits you. You can always do burpees. So, all right. Well, that's what we got for the workout explanation. We're gonna do the workout now. We're gonna have a running clock. Okay, you can follow along, you can work out with us. I still have to do a lot of burpees. I think I have 6,000 left, so I might substitute burpees for one of these movements. Don't mind me, please, and thank you. All right, let's get her done. <laughs> 